Hello and welcome back to a brand new year and a brand new show. It's 2013 and our New Year's resolutions are on the cards. Let us know yours on Twitter using hashtag VibeTV2013. Remember, Edgehill students run VibeTV for the Edgehill community, so if you want to get involved, come to the Media Development Office in the link or email us Vibe Opportunities to mediadevelopment at edgehill.ac.uk. Vibe TV aims to bring Edgehill students information on news and events from on and around campus. So what's been happening, Beth? In the past couple of months, we've watched performances from Hill Start Dance Company and been fundraising for children in need. But first, we're at the Arts Centre where a tribute band, The Beatles, have been performing A Hard Day's Night. The Rose Theatre was packed with people and it was an enjoyable evening at a great price. Don was lucky enough to attend the evening. Hi, I'm Dom. I'm here with the Beatles at Hard Day's Night. Can you tell me a bit about the band? Well, oh, so you want me to tell you about the band? It's, it's, we're called the Beatles. It's not an American accent saying the Beatles, it's actually the Beatles, as in Jeremy Beatle, it's the main influence. Why did you choose the Beatles? Um, it's our cultural heritage, I think, isn't it? We're yes. taking advantage of that. Yeah. It's something we probably... Well, there's not a lot of Beatle bands actually from Liverpool are really good. Loads of them are like, you know, Spanish who are really good or American and, and stuff. So we thought we might, if we, if we were a really good one, we'd have like an edge. I think we're trying to live up to the ultimate Liverpool stereotype as well. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I think we do it. We don't need wigs. You know, mm. so real hair. On the mic. Don't need to fake mm. the accents and stuff. I can actually play the guitar some halfway there. Mm. So it's, it's been an aspiration for your whole life to follow in the footsteps, really. I'd say it's a good band to uh, a good band to follow up. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, we hope to make some money out of it. Do you think? Yeah, that was land. that was right at yeah. the bottom of the list. Yeah, but now, but now it's right at the top. It's, yeah, it's all changed. We just want to make loads of money and sell out. Yeah, yeah. Shea yeah. yeah. Stadium too. Yeah. Yep. Um, you mentioned that you were in another band before. Do you do any other music this time in this band, or is it just the Beatles? Well, I still write my own songs and stuff. That's still my main thing. This is like, uh, this is leisure. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, still yeah. regard myself as a singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. How about yeah. you? I've been writing a few bedroom tunes. Mm -hmm. I don't write. I don't write. I just play. I just appreciate. I just appreciate play, support, make tea. So, do you feel that you'll be bigger than the Beatles eventually? Of course. Yeah. Mm. We'd give up tomorrow. And then we were going to be bigger than the Beatles. Beatles. I thought we already were. Mm. Um, I mean, we jumped off the coach here at Edge Hill, and you couldn't get past. Mm. Yeah, you couldn't get past. It's um, far and near. Um, do you do any other hobbies away from the band? Yeah, plenty. Like I said, I'm a black belt in karate. Um, Mark's a couple of belts below me. Mm -hmm. Only a couple. Only a couple. He's catching up. Yeah. So he still gets to the chop. But uh, no, yeah, we've got, no, I've got plenty of it. I'm only joking there, by the way. I'm not that good at karate. It's kung fu. I actually do. Yeah, we've all got side. We've got little side yeah. things going on. Mu I think music is is the tie. For yeah, us all. side things. I'm still yeah. trying to grow side bands. Like that's one of my main yeah. things. When I'm not doing the Beatles, I'm trying to grow side bands. But as I say, I age in reverse, <laughs> so it's pretty tough. Yeah, the people going into his face. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I've been Dom for Vibe TV, signing off. As well as the performance by the Beatles, there was also what could only be described as the new Freddie Mercury. If you see a hard day's night up at the Rose Theatre events board, definitely get yourself down there. Also in Liverpool, a very special event took place on November 30th at the Isla Gladstone Conservatory, where we watched Hillstart Dance Company. Hillstart performed three routines for a masquerade ball to a large audience to entertain and raise money for the Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation. An astonishing £7,000 was raised at the Masquerade Ball. I was there to experience the evening's antics. Hi, I'm Beth Stacey and welcome to Vibe TV. I'm here at the Isla Gladstone Conservatory where Hillstart Dance Company have been performing in aid of the Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation. The Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation wasn't the only piece of fundraising to have been going on in our area over recent months. Students and staff at Edge Hill all took part in raising money for children in need. The grand total raised for children in need was £26.7 million and we are proud of everyone that took part in Edge Hill's contribution. From cake sales to leg waxing, our reporter Gemma has the full story. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Gemma for Vibe TV. I'm outside the Herb filming for children in need, so let's go and see what's happening. Hey, I'm here with the Christian Union and they're raising money for children in need. Here's Charlotte. Um, so, what are you doing today, Charlotte? Well, today I'm going to be cycling on this exercise bike and I'm hopefully going to go for at least four hours, depending. And um, it's, a raise, uh, it's obviously to raise money for children in need and we're doing a big coin line, which is just right there. And people just donate in their coppers and whatever they don't want. And then that's, I thought it was a little handy way of raising money because no one ever wants coppers. Well, I think that's really brave, especially being as you're in this onesie here. I mean, you must be boiling. I am indeed. It's very sweaty on the inside, so be careful. <laughs> I'm here with Rachel from Vibe Radio. So what are you up to today? Um, we're doing face painting for children in need. That's kind of it. That's great, so you kind of just paint anyone's face that yeah. comes to you? Um, mainly doing tags in the pudsy eye band, because that's my speciality, so. How much do you charge to get your face painted here? So I'm going to get my face painted now. So back in a sec. my face painted for children in need and thank you very much Rachel. Right. So what society are you with? Psychology. And what are you doing here today? Uh, we are getting our legs waxed for charity which seems like a fantastic idea beforehand <laughs> now seems like a complete lapse of sanity. So, how many wax chips have you done? Um, I think we've gone up to about maybe 10 each. Really? So, where was the most painful one? Um, it was here. I, I have no idea why. Everything it's else, quite soft. Everything else was fine, but this one just really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think this is going to make you look a bit more manly? No. No. <laughs> it's all smooth and weird. I don't like it. It doesn't need to look manly when he's got an afro like that. <laughs> Great work guys, so how much money are you hoping to raise today? Uh, I was hoping uh, to get at least everyone in the department to donate like a pound. Uh, we've had a few people come along and um, kind of just donate out of the goodness of their hearts, which is nice and warming, but um, I think in general, probably I'll be happy if we get about 30, 40 quid for the day. Great, so great work guys, um, and thank you. Thank you very much. I've been in the hub with all the fundraisers, raising money for children in need. I hope they get a lot of money. We've had an excellent day. I've been Gemma for Vibe TV and I'm signing off. Also on campus, the hub took a turn that no one was expecting. Our reporter Scotty experienced firsthand the events of International Day of Persons with Disabilities. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scotty with Vibe TV and I'm here at the International Day of Persons with Disabilities with... Holly, Samantha. Nike. Tell me, why are the stairs closed off? It, today is International Day of Persons with Disabilities and we're trying to show the students and staff of Edge Hill what it's like to be disabled and have to rely on the lift. I've seen around campus everyone's wearing these t-shirts, can you tell us a little bit about them? And the t-shirts are like to raise awareness of what we can't do. Some of the things right on the t-shirts are quite trivial. So like, uh, it might be like, I can't juggle, I can't swim, um, I can't record or I can't sing. Um, but like, it's to raise awareness that people with disabilities can't do things, but that also there's lots of things we can do. And um, so it's like a positive way of showing disability. Basically what we're doing is raising, well, we're doing a campaign for International Day for pers International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Yeah. That's the mouthful. That's the one, yeah, <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's easy, to, uh, Disability Day I think is the easiest one, but yeah. yeah. International Day of Persons with Disabilities. One of the things we've done is what's off the stairs in the student hub. Um, which has caused chaos. We did it right over the peak hours of like 12 till 2. It is a really good idea, that really, you know, it's, it's 
the idea that for whatever reason we can't use the stairs does have an effect on us. We might actually see a bit of frustration in ourselves. Why can't I use the stairs? Well, that's the question that a lot of people and a lot of environments do to do to people with disabilities. You know, this is it. You know, it makes the might like much more difficult. And just for that moment, for that little bit of frustration that we feel about not getting up the stairs, we might be able to put our, ourselves in the shoes of people with disabilities. I think one of the main aims was to make sure we got people to see how it is to yeah. have something that is that's seen as like a negative stigma in a way. And, and I think what's coming through is that on a lot of occasions they didn't necessarily feel any different or they were able to do you know, most of the things that their friends did, mm. but it was matching, the biggest barrier was the fact that people were treating them differently and that, that, that if they realised they had a disability, it's something they became a different person. Mm. And what we're, question, what we're trying to do with this is sort of, everyone can't do something, um, but some things are classed as and some things aren't. If someone can't swim, you know, no one treats them any differently, they just can't swim, whereas if someone's got Asperger's or yeah. they've got epilepsy or whatever, people might treat them differently and sort of wider prejudice I think was the was what we'll look at really. Well, the it? prejudice doesn't make sense in this sense because in some way we all can't do something. And I think by putting t-shirts on non-disabled students we're just raising awareness amongst all of us that we can't do something. Hopefully this will have a bit of a legacy throughout the year really and maybe these t-shirts will last a bit longer. But either way, with such a striking image, people will start talking about it and say, well, what was all that about? What was all this about? And it will give us that opportunity through the students, through the student union ourselves and student services to mention that, you know, well, Prejudice really does exist. Sometimes we don't even know it exists, but let's just try and wipe it up. It just doesn't make sense because we all can't do so. My name's Tom Ellis. And I'm doing biology and I can't ice skate. I'm Stacey, I'm on dance and I can't kiss people without getting attached. Hi, I'm Sam Turner, I'm on dance and I can't not look at myself in a reflection or a mirror as I walk past it. My name's Hannah Green, I study dance and I can't count without using my fingers. Hi, my name's Elio Lomas, I do creative writing and I can't dance. I'm Jenny Pow, I'm doing dance and I can't concentrate for longer than three seconds. Hi, I'm Elliot Hodgen, I'm the president of the Students' Union and I can't be on time. I'm actually supposed to be in a meeting five minutes ago, which sort of proves that point. Hi, my name's Laura Manners, I do primary education with QTS and I can't smell. My name is Kevin Trousdale, I study law and I can't resist alcohol. I'm Steve Thompson, I study dance and I can't tell the time when 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm Edward David Richards, I do visual theatre and I can't look down. Hi, my name is Roy Bayfield, I'm Director of Corporate Communications and I can't ride a bike. To the sound of the beat. To the sound of the radio. To take a look back at some of our ex-students, you can find links to the graduation ceremonies and experience some of the celebrations by searching Edchill Graduation Ceremony 2012. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Next time you can expect to see what's been happening in and around campus during January and February. Thanks for watching, I'm Don Tolly. And I'm Beth Stacey. Signing, Signing off for Vibe TV. TV.